And today we're going to talk a little bit about nipples and bottles and things to get you started when you are feeding uh, baby animals. So we have a short video on the miracle nipple, but uh, we'll go over it a little bit in more detail. So I often get asked, you know, how do you feed such tiny animals? And um, when I am training uh, wildlife rehabbers to be, I often refer them to the miracle nipple. So the miracle nipple uh, was actually designed by a wildlife rehabilitator, uh, Chris Clark, and it comes in three different sizes. Uh, as I was gathering my supplies, I only have the one size right here. This is the original. There is also one that has a slightly smaller tip, which is great if you have really tiny things like chipmunks uh, or mice. Um, this tip is wonderful for uh, baby opossums who have a very long uh, mouth and also for squirrels and bunnies. And so the it's just a uh, rubber nipple and it fits onto the syringe. And so uh, they just uh, pop on and off. This is an O-ring syringe. That's what the end looks like on the O-ring. Um, you can also use them on a syringe with a tip. It doesn't sit on the, the miracle nibble doesn't sit on the syringe as well if you use one with a tip. Um, when you order miracle nipples, they come with, uh, or this size comes with two of the nipples and one of the syringes, but you can get O-ring syringes at, um, a feed a livestock store. And so, uh, the nice thing about these, uh, when you put them on the syringe, you're controlling, uh, that pressure. Uh, so obviously the key is, um, very light pressure, letting the animal, um, you know, take up and, and suck on it and, and take up the, the formula or the fluids or whatever you're giving. The nice thing about this is it helps to prevent them from aspirating. And as you know, I'm sure everybody's, you know, we kind of say, you know, my food went down the wrong pipe. Uh, so, uh, the esophagus and the trachea being right next to each other in the mammal's body. Uh, if, uh, we push, uh, too fast or if the, you know, baby gets formula too fast, they can aspirate, meaning that fluid is getting into their lungs and that can lead to a lot of problems. I have two kinds of, um, so these are very popular as well, just uh, pet nursers that you get, um, you know, at anywhere from a big box store or a feed store. Um, these are not uh, as good, uh, especially for, you know, tiny baby wildlife, because there is less control. Uh, when you're um, using that bottle, there's more air in it for one thing, and it can just flow too fast and, um, you know, cause problems like uh, aspiration. And so that's why, you know, we go with the miracle nipples for those tiny babies. And then there also is a miracle nipple, a larger one that's geared towards uh, baby raccoons and skunks, uh, puppies. And, uh, and you can use a larger uh, O-ring syringe with that because they're, you know, eating more originally. I, um, I just often use, this is just a baby bottle from uh, Dollar General. And um, my raccoon kits are very rough on needles, not needles, sorry, nipples. And the raccoon kits with their sharp little teeth uh, will often uh, tear up a nipple pretty quickly. And so as they get older and they're doing better with nursing, 
uh, they can easily drink out of a bottle. Um, the other, the other thing I sometimes use, uh, this nipple is called a uh, Preacher's Teat and it is a livestock, um, style nipple that it is very popular with lambs and goats. So it's easy to find at a, a feed store, livestock supply store. And, um, and it, then it just fits on the top of a, of a soda bottle. So I have used this with raccoons. Um, I like the regular baby bottle better. And I've also used this with fawns. And I've used the baby bottle with fawns also. And then with fawns, um, I'll often bump them up to a calf style um, bottle and nipple uh, that is made for calves as, as they get bigger. And so, so several different styles. Um, you'll want to stock up on, on different uh, nipples depending on what uh, animals you plan to get licensed for and you plan to rehabilitate. So thank you. Please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, let us know how we can help you. Thank you.